Okay, um, this video was requested by one of my subscribers. Um, I had to actually do a little bit of research on this one about the reasons why people lie. It's actually kind of interesting. But the one thing that <laughs> I must admit when I asked my son, because I actually did, uh, I wanted to see what he'd say and his reaction to it. His only response was people lie when they are either high functioning sociopaths, sociopaths, or psychopaths. <laughs> My son has trust issues, obviously. Um, <laughs> his view on the world is very um, <laughs> extreme. Um, but Um, what I actually found was there are several reasons why people lie, but the real reasons behind them all are self-preservation or protection of other people. Now, I did find that people with mental health issues or personality disorders, like borderline personalities or, you know, histrionic personality disorders, narcissistic personality disorders, um, they do lie. It's not a symptom of these disorders. It's, it's, it's just something they do pathological liars they lie they can't help it it's built into their nature it's self-preservation nothing more nothing less they want to be accepted into society it's not because they are malicious or want to hurt other people it is purely and simply self-preservation Pathological liars lie out of self-preservation, which is a weird concept when you think that most pathological liars, when you come across them, do more harm than they do good. You know, when you actually come across them, you, you don't see them and go, oh my God, they're just liars. Oh my God, stay away from them. Um, they just want to be accepted. So they just lie and lie and lie. Um, Half the time they don't realise they're doing it, but it it's never a symptom of mental illness. But saying that, what I did find is that it is a sign of one, or it can be if somebody is depressed or it's out of their character. So if somebody is not known or prone to lying constantly or you know known to being very sneaky and then they start becoming that way you know something is wrong and it's out but they're doing it because they're trying to hide and they're trying to you know pretend it's a pretense they're putting on a pretense is what i learned well actually it's not really i should really have known it to be frank because i spent many years doing it I mean, it should, I mean, when I read it, I kind of clicked because of it. No, yeah, you know, not really a surprise because I spent many, many years doing this, putting on this pretense that everything was fine and I'm okay and there's nothing wrong with me. Whole world's fine. Everything's fine. Smile and the whole world smiles with you. But if it's out of character for someone to behave like that, you know there's something behind it and there's a there could be a possibility of a mental health in health issue but it's not a symptom of a mental health issue so people who are depressed depression people who are depressed don't lie because they're depressed you know so when you read the list of symptoms of depression lying won't be there you know and the same with anxiety 
and borderline personality and histrionic personality, lying is not a symptom of these conditions. They are merely a cause, well not cause, that people, people do them out of self-preservation to make people think that they are in a better place than they are. You know, they want to be accepted into society, they don't want people to think badly of them, so they pretend. Now, teenagers do it a lot as well. Teenagers will lie, especially amongst their peers, because they want to be accepted and they want to be liked. We all see it do it, parents will do it. Parents lie a lot, especially to their children. We all do it, don't even say you don't. We do it out of empathy, especially when our teenagers come home and they've had a really bad day at school because their peers don't like them or they've fallen out with one of their friends for a day and the next day they've made up and we we as parents have to you know empathize with them even though we know full well that the next day they're going to make up and everything's going to be fine so we have to put on this pretense that we feel sorry for them you know it's an act of sympathy and empathy so we lie for those reasons as well you know, lie out of empathy, we lie out of sympathy. You know, we also, when we're in relationships especially, we don't want to harm another human being. And we do the same as parents, and we do the same when we're with friends and family. We don't want to harm those people that we love and we care for. So, when we know that something we've done or something they've done or something somebody else has done or something they're going to do or we're going to do or they're going to do or whatever is going to harm them. What we do is we tell, you know, the white lies, you know, and we will say something to them to make them feel better about themselves, especially if they're going through a rough patch and, you know, so we need to boost their confidence so we will say whatever we need to say to make them feel better about themselves even if we know full well that whatever we're doing is the absolute opposite of what we're saying but it makes them feel better you know and it's needed at that precise moment so we'll say it or if they're having a really hard time and you know exactly what's going on but you don't want to hurt them further you will tell a lie just to make sh just to stop their pain just to make their pain a little bit less and we've all done it don't even pretend you don't and we all do it to our kids as well i mean how many parents have told their kids these lies you know when we split with our other halves or when our somebody dies in the family or there's an issue somewhere and we need to comfort them and we need to make them feel better and we need to help them understand something. And we all just have to find a way to help them understand that it's not their fault and it's all going to be okay, even if we know full well that something somewhere along the line might not be okay. And so we have to lie to them. Yeah. You know, we all do it. We try to protect the ones we love through lies. Yeah. But on the flip side, have you ever been at work or in a social situation at work with friends or with family members, especially in large gatherings, where somebody just will not shut up? And you are standing there, listening to these people yammer on, and on, and on. And all you want to do is scream at the top of your voice, shut the fuck up. I just... <clears throat> and all you want to do is leave. But you don't do it because it's impolite and it's rude and <laughs> it will just cause more trouble. So what do you do? You make an excuse to walk away and keep things polite and pleasant and whatever else you... Mm -hmm. White lies are useful 
and we all do them and we all use them even if we try not to and as much as we don't want to honesty is so important to many people it's so important to me but we all use them i hate liars i hate lying but if i need to white lies are useful because they help people they help smooth over situations they help make people feel better about themselves and they help you get out of really awkward situations when you need to find a fucking excuse to if you really really just want to tell everyone to shut the fuck up so you can leave <laughs> when you can politely just turn around and go oh yeah look at the time oh yeah or oh, i really need to use the bathroom so you can just walk away or oh hang on a minute you yeah, know all phones going or anything i just need to make a phone call or you know anything and everything just to get out of that situation you know the reasons for lying are many and varied but there are two specific reasons for them are you either protecting yourself or you're protecting somebody else they are a cause of a symptom, cause for a mental health issue, because if you're having mental health issues, we use, a pre we pretend, we lie, we pretend everything's okay, we put on a facade and it's lying, it's a pure lie. We put on this facade for the rest of the world, like everything's okay. And we're lying to ourselves as well. Let's lie, let's pretend, smile and the whole world smiles with you. Yay, everything's fine. I'm not falling apart. I'm not having a mental breakdown. No, not at all. No. <sighs> we all do it. But it's about people around us. Pathological liars lie. For selfish reasons. They lie because they need to be accepted. It's not because there's anything specifically wrong with them. It's not because they have mental health issues. Well, some might, we don't know. But it is purely because they want to be accepted. No other reason. So, yeah, um, I hope this helps. Um, and I hope I covered all the bases. I don't think I missed anything else. Um, yeah, anyway, love you all.